guys and welcome to the third edition of my vlog here on the channel. Um, what you're about to see is footage that took place on our first day when we went out to VidCon this past summer. Before we even went to the hotel room, I wanted us to go and visit the grave of Harry Keller. Who's Harry Keller? Well, Harry Keller was one of the greatest magicians of the 19th century. He was kind of like the David Copperfield of the 1860s. He's buried in LA and I researched where his uh, grave was and what cemetery he was buried in. And when I went to the office to find it, he was inside of a mausoleum. But it turns out that a few years ago, a group of magicians got together and had him reburied outside underneath a tree, which I thought was kind of cool. He did so many things to further uh, the art of magic in the 1800s. In fact, many of the illusions that you see magicians perform today can be traced back to him. If he didn't invent something, he improved on it and put a level of showmanship into it that was just phenomenal. If you've ever seen a levitation, you know where the magician makes a, a girl float in the air? That can be traced back right to Mr. Keller. So it took us a while to find his grave, but I finally did. And this was the first thing, like I said, that I wanted to do as soon as we got to L.A. And I was lucky enough that, uh, you know, Jessica and George helped me find the grave. He was born in Erie, Pennsylvania, and he still actually has some relatives living there. His story is the quintessential rags to riches American tale of hard work can get you where you want to be. He started out as a runaway. He found an ad in the paper when he was about, he was just a kid, like 12 years old or something like that, where uh, one of the most famous magicians of the day was looking for an assistant. And this guy had a dog. And when he, Harry got to the guy's house, the dog came running out to him and he started petting him and the dog really liked him. And the magician said to Harry Keller that he got the job because the dog hated every other kid that answered the ad. But it loved Keller and he said that I trust the dog's instincts as far as what kind of people <laughs> I hire. Basically he was kind of penniless when he got the job with the magician and he toured the world several times. He performed for all the he crowned heads of the world. I mean, every king and queen and president you can imagine this guy performed for. He was shipwrecked. His life was one heck of an adventure. And when he retired, he was a multimillionaire and he lived in L.A. Unfortunately, uh, both of the houses that he lived in, the mansions, have been torn down years ago because I actually went to where these places are and one of them is like a parking lot now and the other one is a uh, uh, apartment house but they were beautiful houses he invested wisely all of his money while he was performing and when he retired he was a multimillionaire. he was getting the equivalent of millions of dollars every year just from his investments and he lived off that another thing about harry keller is that he was great friends with houdini and houdini always looked up to him as a father figure. Harry Keller was the only living person that could tell Houdini not to do something and Houdini would listen to him. Houdini wanted to do the gun trick. That's where you catch a bullet in your teeth and Harry Keller said, "Don't please don't do it. <clears throat> you know, too many people have died doing it and we need to keep Houdini around. Houdini listened to him and that was the only trick he never even attempted to do all because of Harry Keller. Anyway, Check this out. I hope you guys enjoy it and um, stay tuned because I'm going to be putting up more vlogs from our trip out to LA when we went to VidCon, which was incredibly cool, as those of you who were there know. Okay, we're looking for Harry Keller's grave. It says red, right? Yeah, it's red, and we're gonna lay a carnation on because that was his favorite color. Of fa uh, that was his favorite flower. Mm -hmm. 